We're making a little bit of television history today with the first BBC One News Bulletin to be broadcast from what's now the biggest and most high-tech newsroom in Europe. Nick Hyam reports on how the technology of television news has changed. In the Commons, Mr McLeod has said that the London busman's pay claim... BBC News, 1950s style. No auto cue, hand-drawn maps and graphics, a black-and-white business that relied on laboriously processed news film. Then, around 1980, the switch from film to video. A revolution. And the fighting after it was, if anything, fiercer than it was before. Everything changed in the early 80s with the arrival of the handheld electronic camera. And the marvellous thing about that was, you didn't know how to process it, you could edit it in the field. So people like myself, we had this wonderful sense of freedom. We could be thousands of miles from this sort of editorial hub that you see here, and we had to be trusted. There was a second revolution too. Originally, news film shot abroad had to be packed up and sent unprocessed by plane, arriving a day or more late. Satellites changed all that. But today, even satellite trucks like this could be replaced by the internet, broadband and smartphones. We've got sandbags against the doors. This live interview last year was broadcast using just an iPhone. Now the studios too are at the cutting edge, largely automated and computer driven. For the first time we are broadcasting in true high definition and we've got shiny new studios that are bright, they are airy. For the first time in a long time, we've gone back to having a real newsroom backdrop. That newsroom is Europe's largest. Impressive, certainly. It reminds me of a sort of battery hen factory with electronic add-ons, but I'm sure it's going to produce some wonderful news. What matters is the people, really, but not the machinery. Well, here to explain a little bit more about those changes and our new state-of-the-art newsroom is Nick Hyam, right behind me there. Yes, indeed. Here it is. It's absolutely enormous and it's the base for two and a half thousand journalists. It brings together the BBC's television news, radio news, online news and for the first time, BBC World Service and 29 language services as well. And at its heart, this news desk. Home news that side, foreign news that side and fanned out around it, desks at which are working producers and editors are looking, working at all of the various different bits of output. So you've got television, news bulletins there, got BBC World Service there, BBC News Channel over there, the uh, uh, online news desk over there. And it's part of a £1 billion project, 6,000 staff working here in a new headquarters for the BBC alongside its iconic 1930s headquarters. Got all the latest technology, as you'd expect, and some old technology too. Some of us still read old-fashioned newspapers. They tidied that table up, I notice. Journalists, of course, very messy people and at the back of the room the galleries as they're called by the BBC the studio control rooms this is the control room for Studio E Barry the director outputting this very program and this studio and gallery will be home in the future to the news channel and to all the bulletins on BBC One Sophie Nick thank you very much